what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Red Ant back. Now, I got a couple of app reviews today, but the first thing I wanted to do, and this is, I just wanted to do this. We'll run Quadrant right quick because I wanted to run it in the previous video, but um, it was already ran. It, the results were already up, but we, we'll go through that and see what we get this time because the score is very slightly, so. Go to run full benchmark. And the highest I've gotten is uh, about 1,700. Um, I've heard people get scores of about 18. So, let's see what happens on this go around. See the usual quadrant animations that's going through. You see the frames per second at the bottom. The DNA double helix right here. We almost finished. And Here we go. So we got 1584, and let's see. That is one of the another one of the lowest scores that I've gotten on here. But like I said, they vary, so won't run another one. We'll just let that be what it is. Try speed test. See what we get. Now this is uh, Wi-Fi. Well, actually, let's try it on Wi-Fi. Just to see. You're doing better than usual. So we have 1.25 megabits per second on the download. Upload looks like it's going to be about 0.24. So we got 0.26 on that, so not the best results from that, even on Wi Fi, because uh, <clears throat> connection isn't super fast. But hey, well, let's get to the apps. So I'm going to go to the app drawer. And you can see I'm running Go Launcher EX here. Best launcher, in my opinion. But let's slide over and take a look. And now, see, this is something I wasn't sure if I wanted to show you guys, but I can promise you if I'm playing against you in Word Feud, I'm not really using this unless I feel like you're cheating. This is Word Feud Mastermind right here. So we'll go into it and show you how it works. Now, you get a list of your games right here. Your turn, your opponent's turn, finish games. Looks basically exactly the same as Word Feud, just a little, just a little different. So if I go into a game right here, and if I tap the arrows left to right of my letters, I get different options of words to play. Um, over here are more points for these words, and this is for words with less points. But if we hit that, and it has found the word for me, and you can see if I play that word, that'd be 59 points. Now, I'm not going to do it because, uh, especially to that opponent, because that particular opponent is uh, someone I would not cheat against. But it's just, you know, just showing you guys an app. If you want to get on there and piss somebody off and really uh, give them the business, then you can check that out. Another thing I want to look at um, is right here. Now, if you watch videos from uh, Gadget Gen, I'm sure you've seen this, but this is 
Appleware. And it's like a social network. And it lets you see uh, what other apps that your friends have. And so you can you can choose to check those out or not. And let me see the different options that you have. Uh, you can check out apps from people around you, top games, um, everything. So let's just go to friends, and you can see the, your list of friends. And if you pick, click on someone, you can see their profile. Um, you can see right here it says installed apps. So well, we actually clicked on that. Let's go back. If you hit a little arrow, and it gives you every application that they have on their device. So you can see what you have in common, what they've downloaded, when they downloaded it, or if they removed it, or whatever. So that's pretty cool. You can chat, do all of that stuff. So pretty awesome. Um, Good way to find out what everyone, what your other your friends are putting on their device. Let's see what else we got. We um, we've got Dolphin Browser, but I'm sure you guys know about that. Um, hmm. There is another app that I'm missing, and. There it is. Twitter. Now, of course, there's a name, as it sounds, the Twitter app. Pretty good one, if I don't say so myself. Um, so, this is the timeline. I accidentally clicked something. But, there's the timeline. It's black. You can change this thing here to white. At the bottom, you have where you can choose to compose a tweet, look at your app mentions. Uh, look at your direct messages, and this allows you to update the timeline. So that's what you get there. I mean, I like the interface of this this uh, Twitter app. I think it's pretty nice. Um, it's clean. Um, you hit a tweet, and you can you see all the different options you get here: reply, quote, and reply, quote, retweet. Um, there's a notification there. Uh, you know, just all types of different. Uh, options that you get, so you know that that's a that's a pretty nice Twitter app there. And besides that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, not too much else that I have added recently. Um, downloaded CNN. You can see the widget here. Get notifications. Actually, I have one right there. CNN. You get notifications. You can choose to get them from top stories or um, in different genres, sports, uh, whatever. So I just have my notifications set for top stories. Uh, well, that's the music widget there. Got Ustream, which works pretty well. Actually, works perfectly. I haven't had any problems with that. Um, yeah, so... You know, if you like to watch Ustream, um, I haven't been really, really been watching Ustream as much recently, but I always like to have that option. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. You can see I got the Nexus theme in the background, and yeah, it's a nice feature right there about Go Launcher. The page preview. Pretty nice. Have up to nine home screens, but that's pretty much it, guys. I just want to give you a look at a couple of apps, show you what I'm twerking with right now on this Triumph, and just give you a little update. I right, support Red Ink. Peace.